Then why don't you come in for a, a, a second and have a drink with us? Oh! Couldn't you keep the conversation going a little longer in there? This yeah. guy showed me his stamp collection one more time. You know, they're looking forward to their anniversary. She had a heart attack. Oh. She's dead. She never once mentioned that she had a heart condition. Maybe this guy killed her, you know? Like he's got really? like a young Tootsie stash. No, no, no. This guy gets his jollies from licking the back of post-it stamps. Hi, I, I thought I'd bring you some uh, chocolate mousse. I know how much you enjoyed the last dessert. I was looking in his covers and I came across this urn. Ashes, funeral ashes. Did you wash your hands? Only, he says, he had his wife buried. That's what you do if you don't want an autopsy. What do you mean you snuck into his apartment? Are you nuts? Well, stop being such a funny guy. What has gotten into you lately for crying out loud? Save a little craziness for menopause. Yeah, he's oh. gotten away with murder. Our only chance is to nab him as he tries to kill again. She right. wasn't murdered. It yeah. was a coronary. It was a coronary, folks. I want to no. take another look around his apartment. No, I just... forbid you. I forbid you to go. It's, I, I'm forbidding. Is that what you do when I forbid you? Why don't we go home and nap and we'll call the police and they can check it out? No, well, no the police are red tape. Come on, this is my case, honey. Okay, he used the name Tom Walden. We gotta run a check on that, okay? I'm gonna check on it. What, you wanna beat it down to the morgue? I figured out how he killed her. He gagged her, tied her to the treadmill, and then he turned the exercise program up to Olympic levels. There's nothing wrong with you that can't be cured a little Prozac and a polo mallet. She in a strange room. Probably just a little drunk. Perrier? Oh, what are you talking about? I have rum cake. We don't understand why you're more, not more fascinated with this. I mean, we could be living next door to a murderer, Larry. Well, New York is a melting pot. Mm -hmm.